Hi everyone, I wanted to come on here and share the latest word given to Handmaid of the Most High. This is part two, um, and it's titled Facing the Coming Judgments, Vision and Interpretation, Careening to Chaos. And she received this message on March 11, 2020. During my prayer time with the Father, I was focused on the near future of the United States. He gave me a vision. At first, I heard the sound of great multitudes marching in unison, like a military marching as an exercise or to battle. Then I saw men wearing sand-colored uniforms as far as the eye could see. The men also had tanned skin. I did not see any Caucasians or African Americans, though I felt that they were Chinese or being directed by the Chinese, perhaps a unit working on behalf of the Chinese. I'm not 100% sure, and I understood the key was in the uniformity of the marchers. They were serving in one accord. That was most significant. All men, I did not see any women among them, marching in unison to the orders of someone I could hear the language or the words of the commander. When I asked specifically what this symbolized, I was reminded of the various words I have already been given about the overtaking of America. I believe this is about the invasion. However, I don't with absolute clarity of this. I did hear, prepare your hearts and minds. This is key. We in the United States and the Western world are not ready. So many people think they will escape. It's not happening. What will you do when you are still here when the worst happens and you cannot continue to deny the rapture lie? Church, this is our hour to shine and lead the blind and those living in the world to see that there is only hope in Christ Jesus. This is our calling. Each person that relies on the shed blood of Jesus Christ as the only way to be righteous before the Creator, the Heavenly Father, we are required to share with this, this with our family, neighbors, friends, co-workers, and others we meet. First, we must be in relationship with the Father. I'm not talking about praying before you eat, which is important. I'm talking about seeking Him daily hourly and by the minute when you don't know what to do or which is the correct path. God looks at the heart. Is your heart right today? Have you repented of your trespasses? Are you asking him to sanctify you? How can you be an example or even preach to others when you do not know of whom you speak? And that was handmade of the Most High and she has um, scripture, Acts chapter 2, verses 17 through 18. So she has that small word from the Lord, and then she elaborates um, on her vision. All right. I love you all, and I pray that you all have a blessed day.